Hi, um, I just thought I'd make a quick video about how it's going eating a more um, plant-based diet because I decided to experiment and see what would happen if I cut out um, meat and uh, I've had really great success. Um, the first thing I noticed was my energy levels went up within a couple of days of cutting out meat. Um, I already didn't eat dairy very much because I'm lactose intolerant but I've been much more strict about making sure I don't eat it because I know that won't make me feel good. Um, the other thing I've been learning to do is soak my own beans and making hummus, making tacos with black beans, uh, white bean soup. So I've just been experimenting and making all sorts of things that I thought would be really yummy um, but getting rid of the meat. Um, something that lots of people find a problem at the idea of going to eat a more vegan plant based diet is that their other half might not be terribly um, enthusiastic about it. Um, my husband is a massive meat eater, he's not overly impressed with the idea of never eating meat, so we've kind of made a few compromises to help um, me to keep eating plant based and him not to feel like he's missing out because it's no good if one pe person feels good and the other one doesn't. So um, firstly we have the rule that he can eat what he likes and he's not with me. So when he's at work, if he wants to buy a meat sandwich or a pasty or whatever that's fine that's cool I don't even have to see it I won't smell it it makes no difference to me um, the other thing I've been encouraging him to do is put me on things that I've made so for example I made um, pizzas but I used um, portobello mushrooms as the base and I made a uh, nut cheese which actually he quite liked but um, then he could add like ham or um, bits of salami or something like that to it and then he gets his meat and it again doesn't really matter to me because my own little pizzas didn't have any. Um, another thing that he's doing is buying some chicken um, ready cooked to put on nachos that I'm going to make tonight. So I'm making um, like black beans and stuff from my one and I've made a hummus cheese using um, nutritional yeast added to hummus. So I'm going to make nachos and he's going to be able to grate a bit of cheese on if he wants and add chicken to it and the same for my daughter because she's only two and a half and I don't want to restrict her diet too much though she is lactose intolerant so she has that already cut out. So um, so that she's not having my um, feelings inflicted on her, her father can take her out to buy a burger or whatever. So that's a couple of things that we've been doing. Another thing that I found to do, which I saw on Whole Fit, was how to soak my own beans, which is incredibly easy, and I had no idea how much cheaper they were. So I've been buying um, dried beans and peas and stuff like that, and growing them myself. I've been growing rid of cress and stuff like that to sprinkle on the top of salads, and um, I've also got some things into my garden. So I'm growing my own spinach for my um, shakes after my workouts and I'm also growing um, beetroots and things like that to add into my salads. So we've got a, a few things going on there. Um, another thing that I was worried about was if I cut out meat, would I really miss out? And the thing I've discovered, because uh, I'm um, two weeks into it now, is that I don't miss it. It's really weird. Uh, yesterday I went out with a friend and I thought, oh well, I'll, I won't worry t about it today and ordered a burger. And I literally had two mouthfuls and was like, do you know what, I can't eat this. So I don't really know what's happened to me, but I am not remotely interested in eating meat. Um, I'm not kind of saying to myself I can't eat meat, I'm just making sure I have plenty of alternatives available. Um, I've been doing like honey roasted chickpeas and stuff like that, so that I've got protein based plant snacks to eat. So that when my husband decides to go and raid the fridge and eat half a ham, then I've got something that I can eat that I'm more than happy with and I'd much rather be eating that anyway. So, um, yeah, I don't know how long this is going to last of me not minding not having any meat whatsoever, but long may it last if it's going to make me feel so good. I mean, even when my daughter's been ill and I've had hardly any sleep, it has not been bothering me because I'm just so much more full of energy. My skin is not actually that much better yet, but I'm hoping that it's like detoxifying or something and it's all going to go amazing soon enough. Um, so yeah, that's going really well. Um, we've got friends coming for the weekend so uh, we will see how my 
uh, anti-meat campaign goes then. But I'm sure that I'm going to end up making a roast or something and then I'll just make myself something as a protein, as the protein part of the roast because obviously roast potatoes and vegetables and stuff are absolutely fine. So there we go. I hope you have a really great weekend and if you get the chance to try cutting at least cutting down on meat, but cutting it out completely I found to be the best solution. I definitely recommend giving it a go, even if you only try it for a week, because I can promise you you'll feel way better. Oh, I forgot the main amazing thing is that I seem to have lost weight really suddenly from cutting out meat. I've not been cutting down what I've eaten, I've not restricted myself whatsoever, I've been eating protein energy bars, I've been eating fruit, I've been eating beans, I've been eating hummus in between meals. There's absolutely no restrictions on what I'm eating, but I seem to have lost weight because I guess I'm eating lower fat foods generally, although obviously I quite like coconut oil, so that's not particularly low fat. But anyway, um, yeah, that's going really well. So if you have any tips or ideas for me about eating plant-based or any um, other things you think maybe I should be considering, like supplements, I'd be really interested to know. Okay, have a great weekend, and I'll be back with another video soon.